close my eyes when I twist. Why? It's because <laughs> if I open them, you start looking where you are, and you're doing two and a half twists, you get lost. So just close them. My name is Lily, I'm a level 10 here. Um, I've had a long road with gymnastics. I've been doing it since I was two years old. Um, it's been a ride and I'm happy where I am and I am, after this year, I'll be going to the University of Alabama. Um, I'm Danielle. I've been at this gym. Danny. Oh, yeah, <laughs> most people call me Danny, but. <laughs> I've been at this gym on July, it's gonna be my third year. This is my first year of level 10. So far, so good. What's harder, the warm up or the workout? This is warm up. We have um, two very different journeys, but yeah. I think we both love the sport of gymnastics and we get each other. <laughs> what are you preparing for right now? Um, Nastia. How did you qualify for the Nastia Cup? Um, I qualified at Presidential and it took a lot of hard work and dedication to get there. <laughs> I like bars. Is it your favorite to watch or to coach? To coach. And I like release movies. He likes it because it's the most precise. Critique the most. I mean the iPad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't critique it, the iPad critiques the it? The iPad. The iPad is doing everything. We just uh, notice afterwards. So I was with Katwali for one year and then I qualified Hopes, not even knowing what it was. It's kind of like the first step to being elite, um, except it's like the younger age. I was about 11 and I qualified Hopes and then I went to Secret Classic and I was like, oh my gosh, like what, what is this? I don't know what I'm doing. And I just kept going on that road. I loved it and I got invited to developmental camp. And then um, from there I qualified for Junior International Elite when I was 14. And um, I went on to compete at US Championships and then PNG Championships in 2016. And then right after that, that year, I think it was 2017, I was going into freshman year and I uh, committed to the University of Alabama. Um, As I'd a say, freshman? Yes, ma'am. I went to Florida, Georgia, Oklahoma, and Alabama last. And I, I absolutely loved it there. It was home like right when I stepped on. I love the coaches, the atmosphere, everything. And um, I just knew. So after that, I had a couple injuries. I uh, hurt my back, 2017. I went and started level 10 and I was at regionals. I was on bars warming up and I uh, smashed my toe into the bar. And I was like, man, that really hurts, but it's a toe. Yeah. Can, can you believe? She hurt her pinky I did. in the competition. Her pinky toe in the competition after first event and we have to withdraw. <laughs> a pinky, a pinky. It was gone crooked. But I didn't know a pinky toe could hurt that bad. So we withdraw, I recovered, and then um, started level 10 again. And I've had two good seasons. Of course, last year was COVID, so that got canceled too. But this year, my senior year, Everything is going strong, and we're gonna finish out with a bang. Yes. Felt it. Feel it. Yeah. I started when I was like I said, like six, seven, and it was just like a way because I did like ballet for a while, and I had too much energy for that, so I just went to gymnastics as a way to get my energy out. 
And I remember the first day I went to gymnastics, I was like, there's no way I'm doing this. Like, the beam is way too skinny and the bars are way too high. I'm not doing any of this. <laughs> and I was like, just try for like another day. And then I ended up loving it. And here I am today doing big skills on it. <laughs> Definitely took time, but I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> Um, my mom's from Morocco, which is in North Africa. She was born there and then she moved to the U.S. and had me in the U.S. in Florida. Um, it was definitely a long journey for her <laughs> to like come here with no English, no money, nothing, and have to work her way. And now we're doing pretty good. So, like all of our families over there, it's just me and my mom down here. <laughs> I went 2019, I think. So I went when I was seven and then 2019, and I haven't been since then. But we want to go again. I think it was 2019 or 2020. Not 2020, not 2020, just kidding, 2019. <laughs> Good one. Good. Nice. Good, Amy. Okay. Round, round. Nice. Aim the fight out from the giant. Okay. Tell me about the Nasty Alufin combo. What's it going to be like? I have no clue. I think it's a lot to look forward to. Of course, it's on TV. So, um,. It'll, 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 it, it's exciting for me because I want to be back out there on the big stage and um, get a little, because college is like that too, so get a little um, experience. It's and definitely going to be a good experience for me too since yeah. it's my first experience like this. Are you going to help walk her through it a little bit? I am. I, I mean, that's, she's like the mom of the gym. <laughs> that's my one big goal is to just um, be a role model for them and um, walk them through it because I sure have been on a long journey and anything that they struggle with, I've struggled with. So it's good to have someone like Lily. <laughs> so every year she changes the Leo design. What do you think it's going to look like this year? Um, uh, I'm going to go with pink and black. Nasty is very good at designing Leos, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. We're wearing pink. Sylvia P. <laughs> Shout out. Sylvia P. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> pink Leos for Nastia. I um I broke and dislocated my elbow um, about two years ago. Um, I was doing a release move on bars. I missed the bar and I landed on my elbow. It was kind of traumatic, and um, it was a long road back getting my upper body. But um, we're back, and it honestly only made me like it sounds weird, but it made me love the sport more. Like just the comeback and like seeing what I'm capable of, and um, how much I can do. <laughs> I mean, the only reason I am doing bars again is because he killed me in my arms and legs and core. Got strong. I may not always like him for it, but <laughs> it worked. <laughs> well, if you think of any more injuries, let me know. I think that it covers the, the gist of it. <laughs> how do you keep going? It's the love for the sport. It's the, the adrenaline the, the um, each event gives me. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of addicted to it <laughs> at this point. I don't know what to do without it. So if you close your eyes, how do you know when to land? I open them right when I'm about to land. <laughs> I'm Kira. I'm really short. <laughs> and I'm 14 and I'm probably not going to grow much more because my growth plates are closed. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mirabella. Hi, I'm Taylor Clark. Uh, <laughs> I'm Whitney Parzio. I've been here for like, I don't know, like six years. Yeah. How long have you been here? I'm going on nine years. Nine years? <laughs> so basically half your life? Basically, yes. I met Coach Raleigh when I was 10. 10, yeah. Like that. Really, like that. He used to be taller than yeah. me. Anybody? I have pictures. He hasn't grown. I have. <laughs> this is a relatively new gym compared to you know most of the clubs that we see at meets and it started from just one daytime group of 14 girls. Hey Kira. How come I didn't think to say I'm vegan? Say hi. Hey. Hey. Can it see me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. Uh, she eats my food. Okay. <laughs> this is like the one time she brings food. Other than that she eats mine. Okay. If you want to know what Arabella eats, just come to me. Hello. Ew, well, you got your going? sauce on me. <laughs> oh, I did not deal with them. <laughs>
There. There we go. Oh, oh, again, that oh. wasn't big. Oh, I can see. You can hear the sound. Again. <laughs> hey, Lily. Um, I just want to congratulate you on making it to Nastia. I'm so proud of you, and we can't wait for you to be here. But until then, we, we love, love you. Good luck and roll tide. <laughs> They're so sweet. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> uh, Ella, Kari, and Louisa. Ella was my former teammate. She's like my best friend. And I just met um, the two others, and they're amazing. They're on the team in Alabama. Are you ready? <laughs> Hi then. From Fez, Morocco, and from your lovely cousins. We hope you all success and sparkle all time. Good luck. Yeah. Dear Daniel, this is from the greatest kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Jeddah. We wish you all the best. And you know, you're born to be in a win-win condition. <laughs> wish you all the best from your uncle Ahmed and your aunt. Hey! Hi, Dad. We love wish you, you all so the best. Yeah. And this is your grandmother. <laughs> Hey, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. We are here together uh, today to wish you the good luck. Good luck, good Daniel. Good luck, 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 Daniel. Good um, that's my family in Morocco, like all my cousins and aunts and uncles. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Do you guys feel like a, you're ready now for the Nastia Cup? So ready. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Feels great. Feel yeah. all the love and support. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect that. When I qualified um, at Sand Dollar, like the moment, I just felt like everybody was supporting me. And it really felt like all my work and hard work had paid off. And then to watch Danny, to watch her qualify and watch her work every single day, I, th I think it was pretty amazing to watch. Yeah, like when we had our first competition, I didn't think that was like something I could like achieve or reach until like I saw how close I was and then I worked for it. And when I saw Lily made it, it was definitely like determination that like if she made it, I like have to make it now. <laughs>